Oh, what is going on everyone my name is nick or the notorious fantasy and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the tyreek hill trade from the kansas city chiefs to the miami dolphins inside today's video we'll be breaking this down from an nfl standpoint as well as from the standpoint of fantasy football so if you are a fantasy football player this will kind of talk about where i believe tyreek hill is going to be going in 2022 fantasy football drafts as well as discussing how this is going to impact the other players around Tyreek Hill, as well as how this is going to affect the Kansas City Chiefs going forward. But before we could get into things, I would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video, to please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button down below and while you're down there, whether you are new to the channel or not, please make sure that you leave a like on today's video. It would help us out a ton. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter, please do so at NotoriousFNTSY. So without further ado, let's get in on to the Tyreek Hill trade reaction video so I am a Miami Dolphins fan I am wearing a Miami Dolphins hat so obviously this excited me a lot now there was a lot of talk today about it being between the Jets and the Dolphins to get Tyreek Hill and it was Tyreek Hill's choice not the Chiefs choice as to where he was going to go so as a Dolphins fan as someone who watches the NFL plays fantasy football I was thinking this seems to be the mortal lock of the century that the Miami Dolphins are going to get Tyreek Hill because it's what makes sense financially as well as what makes sense in terms of being on a better team. Now, I am a Dolphins fan, so some people may say, oh, Nick, you're just shitting on the Jets because you don't like the Jets, and that's untrue if I'm being honest with you. I think that if the Jets were to have gotten Tyreek Hill, that would have been a waste for Tyreek Hill, and it would not have been very ideal for the Jets because they are a couple years away from being in potential playoff contention, whereas the Dolphins are doing everything right now. They're pushing the chips all in to try to go ahead and get this team to the playoffs and potentially make a run to the Super Bowl. So as just an NFL fan looking at this, as a whole, I personally believe that the Jets shouldn't have even been looking to get Tyreek Hill because to me, it does not make sense for the team. So the Miami Dolphins, the trade details here are the Miami Dolphins give the Chiefs a 2022 first round pick, which is number 29, a second round pick, number 50, and a fourth round pick this year, 2022 NFL draft. And then the 2023 NFL draft, a fourth round pick and a sixth round pick, which is what Adam Schefter tweeted about. And the Jets offered the 35th pick, the 38th pick, and the 69th ninth pick of this draft to get Tyreek Hill and pick 103. Now the Jets trade is a little bit confusing because it seemed like everyone and their mother knew that in order to get Tyreek Hill you have to send at least one first round pick and they didn't even bother doing that and then when he got traded to the Dolphins the Dolphins gave him a four-year 120 million dollar extension with 72.2 million dollars guaranteed. This trade was great for the Miami Dolphins and their team, and it also gave the Kansas City Chiefs a solid spot in next year's draft as well as their pick that they obviously have. So this is a pretty solid trade both ways because it seemed pretty clear that he wanted out of Kansas City. Why is that? That is definitely up in the air for discussion. It doesn't seem like anyone on Twitter, anything that I have personally looked up, has the answer as to why Tyreek Hill wanted out of Kansas City. To me, it doesn't really make much sense, right? You're on one of the best teams in the NFL. I understand that the AFC West, the division that they play in is fucking loaded now. Denver, Las Vegas, the Chargers, they all have very solid teams, but if I was Tyreek Hill, I would still personally believe that we could win there, or that he could win there, and that he could do good there, and it seemed like the Chiefs were willing to give Tyreek Hill this crazy amount of money that the Dolphins gave him, so I don't really understand why he left, but look at this in terms of fantasy football. For the Miami Dolphins, this is huge for Tua Tonga Vailoa. Now, if you are a Tua Tonga Vailoa hater, he hasn't done all that much to really prove you, prove to you at least that he is going to be much better in 2022. But the Dolphins, they brought in some new pieces to this offensive line. They bring in Tyreek Hill. This is the prove it year for him. They get a new head coach in Mike McDaniel, who is offensive minded. They get rid of Brian Flores. If there was ever a time for Tua Tonga Vailoa to take this next step at the NFL level, it would be this year. It just has to be this year because the offensive line is better. The weapons are better. So this is great for Tua. If you ever wanted to try to take a deep shot in your fantasy drafts on a quarterback, maybe you wait till quarterback like 18 off the board. Some of the people in your league have already taken a backup and you're like, you know what? Let me just take a high upside shot and a quarterback that was good in Alabama, good in college. Hasn't really been it at the NFL level, but it's year three. Maybe he takes that junior year leap. Maybe he's amazing in 2022. I would be fine with drafting Tua in that scenario. In terms of Tyree, 
Tyreek Hill. This does not decimate his value. I feel as though a lot of people are going to make the argument that, oh, going from Patrick Mahomes to Tua Tonga Vailoa is going to be just dismantling of Tyreek Hill. I would definitely tell you that I do not believe his upside is the same. I don't really believe that we will see Tyreek Hill finish as the number one wide receiver in fantasy football this season. But what I do believe is that Tyreek Hill is definitely in the conversation to be a top five wide receiver in the NFL. He is so fast. As long as Tua Tungavailoa is able to hit him. And I know that Tua has the arm power. A lot of people say that, oh, he doesn't. We've seen it multiple times, even last year, that he has the arm power to hit a guy like Tyreek Hill. As long as the offensive line is able to block, then Tua will be able to hit him there with that deep strike. So I think Tyreek Hill is still in a very good situation to succeed for fantasy football. Jalen Waddle. This does definitely hurt Jalen Waddle, but it also helps him at the exact same time because obviously Jalen Waddle was going to potentially see like a hundred zillion targets in this offense, right? If they didn't bring in Tyreek Hill because he's by far and away the best player. They bring in Mike McDaniel who made Debo Samuel into just this athlete in San Francisco, not just a wide receiver, a guy who's getting these jet sweeps, getting the ball out, uh, out just in space making sure that they give him the ball and he's able to do things. I thought that's what was going to happen with Jalen Waddle. Now, maybe that's what they do with Tyreek Hill. But hey, this doesn't decimate Jalen Waddle. If anything, it might also help him out because now you want to put your number one corner on Tyreek Hill. And now Jalen Waddle, who's really fucking fast as well, is going to be open. So in Miami, I'm going to have both of these guys ranked as top 12 wide receivers. And this is with no bias towards my Dolphins fandom. I really believe that if Tua Tungavailoa is the real deal like I believe he is, if Mike McDaniel is the real deal like I believe he is, then Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle can together be top 12 wide receivers in fantasy football. And that's possible. It's not like we've never seen that in the past where two wide receivers on the exact same team have been very solid for fantasy football, especially when we have two wide receivers here that are going to be able to be getting carries out of the backfield. They're going to hand the ball off to Tyreek Hill. They're going to hand the ball off to Jalen Waddle. They're going to create plays to get both of these guys the ball in space. So I think that Jalen Waddle, as well as Tyreek Hill, could both easily be top 12 options. If I was to pick one, though, it says, hey, Nick, or you might ask me a question, hey, Nick, who would you rank ahead of each other? Which one would you prefer? Would you rather have Tyreek Hill or Jalen Waddle in 2022? my answer is going to be Tyreek Hill. He's the better player. He's the veteran. And I think they're going to be looking to feed him the ball. Now, could Jalen Waddle outscore him 100%? But my thought process on this is that I would definitely rather have Tyreek Hill over Jalen Waddle. Let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about that as well as on the trade as a whole. We're also going to be getting into how I feel about the Chiefs now. But before we talk about that, I'd like to let you guys know about our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. You can see them on the screen right now. And I'm pointing at our uh, deposit code that I'm going to be talking about in a second. So our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy, is known for NFL best ball tournaments. However, Underdog doesn't stop there. Underdog has plenty of other contests that you can compete in, including live draft contests as well as pickums, which you can make up to 20 times your entry fee. Use promo code AWESOMO. Again, promo code AWESOMO for a first deposit match bonus of up to $100, and you can get started on Underdog Fantasy today. So we kind of broke down the Dolphins. I think this is a huge trade for the Dolphins, but I don't think this necessarily dismantles the Chiefs, but... It does definitely hurt, right? Patrick Mahomes is still going to be a great quarterback. People are going to try to talk about how, oh, now Patrick Mahomes' value has fallen off the edge of the earth, right? He doesn't have Tyreek Hill. They bring in Juju. They're probably going to draft a wide receiver in the first round or bring someone else in. Their team is going to be just fine. Patrick Mahomes is going to be just fine. If you want to argue that maybe he gets knocked down a slight peg, that maybe now you don't want to make the argument that you should take him as the number one quarterback off the board, then I won't argue with that because personally, if I was number one overall in a super flex league, then I'm drafting Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen would be my quarterback one in 2022, but you could still make an argument that Patrick Mahomes is still up there. So Chiefs are going to be just fine. People are going to be quick to fucking burn them to the ground, say that they're not going to be able to potentially get back in the playoffs to be some, like people are saying that they're the worst team in the AFC West, in the AFC West. That is fucking stupid. So stupid to say that. I really think that the Chiefs are still in a very solid position to succeed without Tyreek Hill. And if they're able to parlay this pick, right, the first round pick, they draft a wide receiver. 
he could easily be just as good for the team as Tyreek Hill. Now, I'm not going to rank that wide receiver as a top 12 wide receiver. I'm just saying. And in terms of Travis Kelsey, this man is going to get 7 zillion targets. In terms of Clyde Edwards Hilaire, people are going to be talking about how Clyde Edwards Hilaire is now in an amazing spot. Clyde Edwards Hilaire just simply is not that guy. He's a fine running back, but this doesn't elevate him into top 12 notoriety. And again, the Jets really fucked up, only offering a 35th pick, 38th pick, 69th pick. What are they even doing? So thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. Let me know if you agreed with my assessment. Do you like uh, Jalen Waddle the same now with Tyree Kill? You're kind of mad about that if you were a Jalen Waddle truther about him now being uh, Tyreek Hill now being on the Dolphins or are you just about the same you're fine with that and then if you were a Tyreek Hill guy do you believe that this is going to hurt Tyreek's value keep it at about the same how are you feeling on this thank you guys all so much for watching today's video if you did end up enjoying make sure that you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button hope you have a great rest of your guys day go Dolphins fins up again as a Dolphins fan I love this trade we're going to the Super Bowl see you guys later as always guys Goodbye.